What's up everybody? On today's show we're taking a look at a microphone from Joby. There's actually a handful of different mics in this lineup. This particular one is the Wavo Plus. It's currently selling on Amazon for around $200. I'll have that link below if you want to check it out. Another thing worth noting too is half this video was filmed on a Sony A7C in 4K. The other half is filmed on a Canon RP at 1080p upscale to 4K. Let me know in the comments and let me know if you can actually tell the difference between the two cameras. And if you're curious, all of the audio in this video is coming from the Joby Wavo Plus itself. Now, one of the first things that I like about this microphone is it turns on automatically when you plug it into the camera. I have had so many times where I plugged a mic in and not turned it on, only to find out later that I had to reshoot everything because there was no audio. <laughs> The Joby Wavo Plus, you don't have to worry about that. Now, a big thing that I love about this microphone is it has a ton of pro features that you won't find on a lot of other shotgun mics. You know, I know there's a lot of mics on the market that start at around $50, but they're basically just microphones and that's it. They don't have any of these extra features that this microphone has. One of my favorite features on this mic is the fact that you can record a safe track. Uh, when you choose that option, the mic actually records two separate tracks where one is just a regular track at zero dB and then the second track is at minus 10 dB. That way, if you have any unexpected noise in your recording, if some point in your recording it gets like way louder than what you were expecting, your audio is not going to clip because you've still got that other track that you can fall back on. That is something that's huge and that's something that I use all the time. Another thing that I love is there's a high pass filter that allows you to cut out any noise that's over 100 hertz. That's super useful too. Plus, I like that there's actual physical buttons on this. Like, you've got a gain switch that gives you the options of negative 10, 0, and plus 15. It's super useful to have that just physically right there on the mic where it's easy to access. That's super cool. Plus, there's a headphone jack that allows you to monitor your audio in real time. That's a super useful feature that I always use, and that's kind of why I always choose this mic over some of the other shotgun mics that I have. That's something that I definitely need. Plus, another one of the reasons why I always use this shotgun mic is just the sound quality. You know, I've tried so many different mics throughout the years for filming these YouTube videos, but I've got to say, this is definitely my favorite. One of the big selling points for me with this microphone is the fact that it has a high pass filter. With the high pass filter, you're able to filter out any noise that's under 100 hertz, like an air conditioner hum in the background or traffic from cars going by in the background, something along those lines. So everything that you're hearing right now is with the high pass filter off. Take note of how that sounds, and now let's go ahead and switch over to having the high-pass filter on. Okay, now same exact location, but we do have the high-pass filter on. Um, can you tell a difference? Because we still have like pretty much the same amount of cars going by in the background. I'm hoping that this will kind of be able to cut down on some of that noise and just focus on like things that are in like a normal human vocal range. Uh, other thing I like about the high pass filter is when you, it's just a little switch and when you turn it to the right, it lights up green so you can actually tell that it's on. And that way when you turn it off, it's just blacked out, you don't see anything. It's little features like that that make me really like this microphone a lot. There's a lot of different shotgun mics on the market that are geared toward content creators. And some of them are cheap too, you know, they only cost like around 50 bucks. But the problem is, and the reason why I would go with this mic over a lot of those is those mics don't have the same professional features that this one has. With this, with this mic, you're getting real time auto. All I can hear is that lady. How is she so loud? Oh my God, what is, is the person she's talking to standing on the moon? Is that why she's on there? With this mic, you're getting things like a high pass filter, a safety track, real-time audio monitoring. 
You can use this mic as a USB mic for your computer, like if you're gaming or live streaming or even just like on a Zoom call or something like that. And on top of all of that, you're just getting genuinely good audio quality. So for me, that's why when you combine all of that stuff together, that is why I would go with something like this that does cost a little bit more over, say, a $50 mic that you find on Amazon because so many of these features that come with this mic are just things that I use on a daily basis and then once you get used to using those things every day, it's kind of hard to go back to not having those features. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.